determine if lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. First example, determine if the line passing through the points negative 5, 2 and 1, 6 is parallel, perpendicular, or neither to the line passing through the point negative 4, negative 2 and negative 2, negative 5. Remember our formula for slope. Slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. For our first line, finding the slope, labeling my ordered pairs, 1 is x sub 2, 6 is y sub 2, negative 5 is x sub 1, positive 2 is y sub 1. So the slope of the first line is 6 minus 2 over 1 minus negative 5. Remember, minus a negative is plus the positive. So 6 minus 2 is 4. 1 plus 5 is 6. Let's reduce that fraction. 2 divides into both 4 and 6. So we get 2 thirds. For our second line, finding its slope, negative 4 is its x sub 1, negative 2 is its y sub 1. This negative 2 is x sub 2. Negative 5 is y sub 2. So we have negative 5 minus a negative 2, which becomes plus positive 2, over the x sub 2, which is negative 2, minus the x sub 1, negative 4, so that becomes plus positive 4. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Now compare the slopes. 2 over 3 and 3 over 2 are reciprocals of each other. One slope is negative. The other slope is positive. So these two lines are perpendicular. Example 2. Determine if the line passing through the points negative 5, 2 and 1, 6 is parallel, perpendicular, or neither to the line passing through the points negative 4, negative 2 and 1, 1. Again, our formula for slope, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. For our first line, finding its slope, negative 5 is x sub 1, positive 2, y sub 1. This positive 1 is x sub 2. This 6 is y sub 2. So plugging into the slope formula, we have 6 minus 2 over 1 minus a negative 5, which becomes plus positive 5. 6 minus 2 is 4. 1 plus 5 is 6. 2 divides into both 4 and 6, so reduce this fraction to 2 thirds. For our second line, negative 4 is x sub 1, negative 2 is y sub 1, the first one is x sub 2, the second one is y sub 2. Now let's find this slope, plug into the formula, so y sub 2 is 1 minus negative 2 becomes plus positive 2, x sub 2 is 1, 
minus a negative 4 becomes plus 4. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 4 is 5. So the slope of the first line, positive 2 thirds. The slope of the second line, positive 3 fifths. These slopes are not the same. And these slopes are also not negative reciprocals of each other. So these two lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Example 3. Determine if the line passing through the points negative 5, 2 and 1, 6 is parallel, perpendicular, or neither to the line passing through the points negative 4, negative 2 and 2, 2. Again, our formula for slope, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. For our first line, to find its slope, negative 5 is x sub 1, positive 2 is y sub 1, this 1 is x sub 2, and 6 is y sub 2. So plug into the slope formula, and we have 6 minus 2 over 1 minus a negative 5 becomes plus positive 5. 6 minus 2 is 4. 1 plus 5 is 6. Reduce the fraction. Divide the top and bottom by 2, and we get 2 over 3. For the second line, to find its slope, negative 4 is x sub 1, negative 2 is y sub 1, this 2 is x sub 2, this 2 is y sub 2. So plug into the slope formula, y sub 2, which is 2, minus negative 2 becomes plus positive 2, over x sub 2, which is 2, minus a negative 4, which is plus 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, reduce this fraction, 2 thirds, now compare the slope of each. The first line has a slope of 2 thirds. The second line has a slope of 2 thirds. So these two lines are parallel. So to recap what we've done, two lines are parallel if they have the same slope. Two lines are perpendicular if they have slopes that are negative reciprocals, or if one line is vertical and the other is horizontal. Now, you try these four problems and see what you can do.